It's one of the things that I have noticed our students have in common is they think about big questions, big topics, and they think very analytical about how to tackle those questions from multiple different angles. If you are good at mathematics, you should be a mathematician. If you're good at history, you should be a historian. If you're interested in psychology, you should be a psychologist. But if you're interested in, in all those things or, or more than one of those things, being an economist is a fantastic thing to be. I took accounting classes, I took marketing classes, I took finance classes, I took even philosophy and business. So I really got to explore a lot of different paths and options um, and really narrow down like my favorite parts of business. And even if I chose to go on a different path in the future, I would always have um, that kind of knowledge and background to go back to. The graduates of our business major, they're getting jobs. And I think the reason that they're getting jobs is A, that they go through some rigorous training with the economics as an underpinning, B, they've got good electives, and C, we have a pretty rich co-curricular offerings, mean, meaning activities outside of the classroom. That's what the Bruce Thompson Center for Business and Economics is about. It's, it's taking what one's learning in the classroom, and we do a lot of learn by doing in the classroom, and being able to apply that to the outside world when I did my internship, a lot of like what they were saying, what they were doing, just the fact that it was making sense to me made me a lot of, like, made me really happy. And of course, there were a lot of stuff that I had to learn in the internship and did not know. But there were also a lot of stuff that I, I really did know. And I've, you know, learned from the book, but now I'm getting to apply it. So definitely, you know, doing those stuff kind of helps you to relearn and also learn the subject even deeper. The Center for Business and Economics, we hold lunchtime learning events. We have competitions for financial literacy, for the big ideas competition. We have experts that come and give their perspective on whatever topic is of interest. And this is something that we do every year, every spring. And the, the value is that these students are able to hear these perspectives from somebody other than their economics professors. One of the big events that we had is the Board of Visitors coming in to talk to the students. So that's one big thing that I think a lot of students benefit from is hearing um, their experiences e either at Allegheny and even um, in their positions now. So I think being able to hear um, job descriptions and pathways that these alumni um, face throughout their lives like really helps them to like narrow down what they want to do in the future and how they want to benefit from the business and econ department. When I see Allegheny on the resume, it, it tells me already that that student was successful in their research uh, project for their comp. It tells me that uh, they had a certain level of rigor with their academic studies. And I know that I can count on that student to have some of the qualities that I might be looking for in the, in the job, specifically critical thinking skills, uh, resilience, analytics, and also the importance about the ability to communicate. I obviously set high goals for myself. Um, I wanted to graduate with a job in hand and I did that. My full-time position is going to be a program financial analyst. I even went to Chicago to, to do a study with my professor and really that helped me a lot. And afterwards, like I was certain my senior project is going to be a new marketing project and um, we were very successful at conducting a neuromarketing marketing research here with my professor and um, I think that also helped me to get my job uh, position uh, as a neuromarketing researcher uh, after graduation as well. And it's very reflective of kind of the world that they're going to live in when they leave here.